Did you oh. ever meet Hendrix? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did you ever get to play with him? Uh, not live. Not live. Backstage. You went, you went backstage. Where was this? Uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Back in the early 70s? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you're, what, doing a concert? Yeah. James Gang concert at that James point? James Gang, Hendrix, and, uh, and uh, Sly and the Family Stone. All on the oh, same wow. bill. Wow. Well, I remember in those days? Wow, yeah. yeah. You had right. three headliners on a show. And who opened that show? Uh, we did. The James Gang. Yeah. Unbelievable. What a show. So Hendrix is backstage. And what happened? You go, you He's go- backstage. We're, we're in in a, like, uh, uh, dressing room, mm. which is like where a hockey team changes or something, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, not glamorous. That, so, yeah. Right. We finish, and, and we're in the same dressing room, so, uh, he's sitting playing his guitar and I come in with mine. Right. And uh, and you have a jam session, so to speak. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I showed him my guitar and he showed me his. Do you get intimidated He's, by a guy like that? Nah, he was a wonderful guy. Of course I'm intimidated. By his talent, I mean. By him. Because he he had an aura. I mean, he had yeah. feathers on. I mean, it was <laughs> terrifying. Well, you know, you, you talk about that. I read that Clapton and a bunch of other guys at the time who were considered top guitarists all went to see Jimi Hendrix when he first came on the scene. They went to a club and they all looked at each other and they went, shit, we don't even like yeah. really play what the, the guitar. What the hell are we doing? What are we doing? That, that was, was the famous story. generally thought by the community, yeah. What the hell are we doing? Did you feel that way? Yeah. You did when you played with him. When you played with him, did he say, oh, wow, Joe, maybe we should get together in a studio and do something together, or never got that no, far? No, never got that far, but uh, he showed me his guitar, and I, I saw, I paid attention to what, how the heavy strings, light strings. Right. How high are the strings? What's the action? Because he was a tough one, you know, because he was left-handed. Right. So everything was backwards. That's why he sounded like that. None of us right-handed guitar players could do what he was doing. Was he playing a lefty guitar? No. He was playing a right-handed guitar. Upside with his down. Le- upside down. Da- oh, wow. wow. That's why he sounded like that. Are you and kidding? that's why we couldn't. Crack the code. Oh, my God. That's See? fascinating. Yeah. That's why we were all hitting ourselves in the head. But that's why you were a great guitar player, because you were a student. Yeah. Sitting with Jimi Hendrix, it's a master class. Yeah. Wow. Even if it's three or four minutes. Right. And I had a Les Paul, and, and uh, he looked at that, and uh, he was really, really nice and, and just a, a good guy. 